Today I'm going to show you this sea line that I'm already sitting on. It's a sea line S330 and it came right out of our production hall, so we're still on our shipyard. So please excuse any noises that you might hear around me because people are still working here and this boat is not yet completely finished, but we wanted to take the chance to show you around and I hope you appreciate it nevertheless. But as you might see later on, there are a few things that are still not quite finished. For example, we don't have any roofs um, on the sunroof at the moment, but you will see where it will be in a couple of days time. I will show you around and I will show you that there's a lot of room for a small family or a couple. It's a perfect getaway. Um, it's not too big. 33 feet long, but it has a lot of great things to offer. For example, the biggest um, owner cabin bed in its category and also the highest ceiling height that you will see in the interior part. So once we are downstairs and see what the inner um, portion of the boat looks like, you will see definitely what I mean. And I hope you have fun. Come join me to have a look around. I'm starting my tour in the bow of our sea line S330. So this is the bow sun lounge right next to me is the large windscreen going into the cockpit and um, helm station area that we will see a little later on. And up here is a perfect place to enjoy the sun. So there's a large uh, sun lounge here that would definitely accommodate two adults. If there are children involved, they would definitely fit up here as well. So it's a perfect place to just enjoy, relax, and of course, um, enjoy the views as well because here there's nothing in your way and you can just look all around 360 degree views as the greatest place on board I um, I at least think so um, there's a lot of room all around all the way up to the anchor there are no steps nothing to fall over so everything is within reach and it's just a great place to start our tour and now we will see what's in the back of our boat and of course what's inside as well I'm making my way from the bow to the aft of our sea line S330 and as you can see there's um, always plenty of safety on board because that's always the most important thing when you're cruising. So we have the handrails along the roof here and on the side there's a really high sea railing as well. Of course what I always really like is that there are no steps from the bow towards the aft. There are just two but they um, they are pretty balanced out that's way in the back when you're almost in the cockpit so from the cockpit to the bow area there's no steps nothing to fall over so if you're a little clumsy like me that's not a problem and you always have somewhere to hold on to even when the boat is moving behind me is the aft of our boat you can see i'm sitting on a really large couch right in the cockpit and there's open air all around me so it's a really nice feeling especially when the wind is blowing a little and the sun is out like it is today on this big couch, I would guess around six people would comfortably fit. Um, of course, if nobody's lying down like I am right now, but we also have a double co-pilot seat. So there's another two seats there. So eight people will comfortably find space in the cockpit. As you can also see, we have the table here. Usually, of course, it's a bit higher up, but I've already put it down. That's an um, electrical uh, table, so you can lower it and then just put up another cushion and you have a really big sun lounge right here in the cockpit so you're never far away from the pilot seat which we will come to in a minute and everybody is right at the center of attention here in the cockpit what we also have is above me um, there is a canvas roof that we can put out at the moment it's open so there's a lot of light coming in but if it gets too sunny you can just pull it back um, towards the back so it is nice and shady uh, down here if you're sailing in a little um, less warm waters, there's also an option to put up canvas walls. They would go up all the way to the back here and just um, give a bit more shelter in the cockpit here. You can see I have extended the sun lounge in the cockpit even more. So I have put down the backrest and now it's even larger than it was before. So my feet are now dangling over the bathing platform, which we'll, we will see in just a second. Um, but you can see there's really a lot of space for everybody to find a place in the sun lying down. I'm standing on the bathing platform now. It's the very back part of our sea line. And as you can see, it's, uh, it looks like it's two parts. So this part here, that's the usual bathing platform. But if you decide, like the owners of this boat have, to extend your bathing platform even further, 
that is the second half that will be built um, next to it so it's an extended bathing platform it's really big so it's like your private beach that you just take with you wherever you go you can see in the back there's two holes in the floor that's where the bathing ladder usually goes of course now we're still in the yard so we can't really put it there because there's no way we can go swimming now but just so you know where it is that's where it goes and it's just a stainless steel ladder that you just pop in and then it's fixed so people can get into the water and out of the water really easily and as you can see it's a really large bathing platform of course when you put down the backrest and have the large sun lounge that extends over the bathing platform so everybody is really close together as well so we have seen the bathing platform above me so this is a rare opportunity that we can actually see the engines what they really look like because usually of course this would all be underwater but as we're still in the yard we can see the engines this boat here has two of them that is up to you you can have just one engine you can have two you can decide what kind of engines they are if they have 220 horsepower or 340 or even up to 400 and that of course decides how fast your boat will be going so that's all up to you and your requirements to your boat if you want you can also have those engines as outboard engines. So they would be up here in, integrated into the bathing platform. That would of course make it easier for any maintenance work, but that's completely up to you. And it's a matter of taste if you want them down here or up there. If you decide to have the outboard engines, just look for the same model number S330, but then there's a V at uh, the end of it. So that's the outboard version of it. So we have seen the large lounge area in the cockpit and of course to cater to all your needs or your guests needs we have this outdoor galley on the side here. There's a lot of options that you have. Um, what is always there is the sink and you can just fold out the faucet and have the freshwater sink here. When you don't need it just close it back up and it gives you a really nice work top or you can use that as a bar to mix your cocktails for the evening. So that's very convenient right next to the lounge in the cockpit. If you want, so that's another option that you have, you can include a barbecue right next to the sink. If you don't, that's just more space here that you have uh, to bring out the food from the galley below, for example. And also an option, you can install another refrigerator so that's perfect for your cold drinks when you want to sit out here in the evenings and just have your wine and long drinks um, stored nicely. If you don't have the refrigerator, there's a lot of storage options here. So it's just like a little bar top that you have on the outside in the cockpit. But I really like the idea with the barbecue. So you can also cook outside, which is always nice in this kind of weather. This is the helm station. So I'm sitting next to the steering wheel here. It pretty much looks like a car, but we will come to that in a second. Below me here, there's a lot of room that has been used as a storage space. So a lot of space down there to put everything that you don't want lying around in the cockpit. Very convenient. And what we also have, in case you don't want to sit at the helm station, you can also stand and just put up the floor here. And then the floor is a little deeper. So it's easier to stand and still have the same view as from above. When I'm sitting here, I have a really nice panoramic view. So I have a really large windshield. I have the windows to the side. I can open this as well. So it makes communicating with my crew in the bow, for example, really easy. There's also another window on the other side at the co-pilot seat. We will see that in a second as well. So we can also get some fresh air in here because of course the wind is coming from the front. As I said before, we're still in the yard, so unfortunately we don't have the roof yet, but everything that is green right now would usually be a canvas roof, so you can open or close that. And of course, it's really nice when the weather is nice and the roof is open, that you can stand up here and look to the front above the roof there. So a really nice view, nothing to impede it, and a really nice cruising from here. What we have at the Helmsman station is everything that you need. So you have all the controls. Here, for example, we have two engines built into this boat. This is up to you. You can decide what you want to do. 
So either you have a maximum speed of 28 knots, but you can also install the second uh, engine or a different engine that brings it up to 32 knots if you prefer that. And everything you need is right up here. You can see how much fuel you have tanked. There's uh, a 50, 570 liter um, fuel tank installed in the boat. So that gives you plenty of fuel to go wherever you want to go. You have all the controls for the autopilot, the bow thrusters, whatever you need, also a little radio here, and of course the engine control. Um, so that makes it really easy and you have everything right next to you. So there's um, no need to go anywhere else when you're sitting here, you have everything in control. This is the port side just across from the helmsman seat. So this is the co-pilot seat. It's a double seat, very wide. So there's two people who can enjoy the fun of driving next to the driver as well. And of course, they have the same view as the driver has from the helmsman seat. They also have the window to the side, which opens and can also be used to communicate with the people in the bow of our sea line. What is also really nice is the little um, cup holders up here and there is little storage compartments as well so you can put your suntan lotion, your sunglasses, whatever you need right next to you and just chill out here next to the driver. We've seen there is a lot of room for all your family or friends up here in the cockpit and also on the sun lounge in the bow and now I really want to see what's going on inside so come follow me. made my way into the saloon you can see there's a lot of room all around me so um, even here a lot of standing height and that is something very special about this um, category of boats so in the 33 foot category this is the highest ceiling height that you can get in the interior uh, parts of the boat I'm sitting on a couch there I would guess is enough room for four to five people sitting here comfortably and with four beds of course um, this is the place where you would spend your evenings or if the weather is not too fine outside this is the place to be. There is a lot of storage around so we can open up the walls here to have closed storage or next to it the open storage. We have the little reading lights, which I personally like a lot, so you can just relax, lie back and um, enjoy a good book while you're in the saloon when it's raining outside, for example. As you can also see, we have a very light colored upholstery here in combination with the dark wood. It's really beautiful, but of course, if you're more the type for really light woods and maybe dark leather material that can also be arranged so this is completely up to you and your boat will look completely different than this one because you decide what your favorite colors and materials are and this is what we will build into your sea line um, if you like you can also get one of these brochures where all the details are in so there's um, all the pages with the materials and colors there's also a dedicated page to the different layouts that are possible because in some of the boats you can decide what you want in your boat as well so if you want more cabins or less or more storage space all that um, stuff behind me the wall that can also be opened so if you decide for a layout where your owner's cabin which we will see in a minute is open towards the saloon creating a huge open living place um, living space that can also be arranged and all that is in the brochure so head on over to our website and check that out you can download it there or get the physical copy sent to you um, by your closest dealer so everything is in here now we've talked um, about the reading lights, we also have some spots in the ceiling and we have really beautiful ambience lighting so that comes pretty much out of the ceiling and creates a really nice ambience down here in the saloon. Of course always depending on the weather but even if it's really dark outside you can create the perfect atmosphere in here. When the sun is out there's a lot of light coming in from outside so we have a skylight up there. We again have this really large hull window to the side. There's more light coming in from the galley area that's on the other side of me. And there's a huge um, glass fronted door that leads out to the cockpit. So there's again more natural light coming in. Of course, if you have this wall here open, there's more natural light coming in from the owner's cabin. But again, we will see that in a minute when we're in there. 
I've moved along the couch a little to show you this little corner up here. This is where all the entertainment is happening. So you can see we have a TV above my head. So from everywhere in the saloon, you have a nice view of that TV screen. So it's a flat screen. We have the radio um, station here. And you can also have a CD or a DVD player installed if you like. Together with all this entertainment package, you can also get um, really big speakers that are um, in that, that are built into the ceiling, so they can give you a really nice um, sound in the saloon as well. And what I personally really like is this little thing up here. That's a docking station, so you can put in your phone or your power bank and connect the um, cable to the USB port there, and then just put it back into the ceiling and it will charge without you even noticing. This is the starboard side of the saloon area. You can see there's the galley behind me. We have a gas stove here, but you can also decide for a ceramic stove. So if you want that, um, that's also possible. So all of those options, they can just be discussed with your um, dealer in your area and they will tell you exactly what's possible. The same goes for the microwave behind me here. If you need the microwave, you can have it installed. If not, you can use this space as storage space as well. If you have the microwave, there's still enough storage space so you can open up um, the walls up here and there's also storage space below so a lot of cupboards a lot of um, space down below we have the sink in the middle what I really like is that it's covered up so when you don't use it you just put back up the cover and it enlarges your worktop immensely and you can just put back um, everything that you don't need while you're working and you have a really big area that you can work on down below, that's the fridge, and there's also a little area here as uh, your ice cupboard. So enough space there as well and everything that you need. And again, there's more natural light coming in from the back. You can open that hatch as well. And of course, you get all the natural light that comes in from the saloon area. This is the aft or guest cabin. As you can see, it's a very wide bed, so it's definitely enough room for two people. And it continues to my right here, so it's a full length mattress that you have here. So your guests will definitely feel very comfortable. And as you can also see above me, it's plenty of headroom. So while sitting, it's very comfortable. You won't bump your head on anything. And something that is very special for a sea line is the massive hull window that we have on the side here. It's really huge, it lets in a lot of daylight. And we have a second smaller hatch here that can also be opened to get in some fresh air as well. And that gives a lot of natural light in um, this cabin here. Of course, both windows can be closed with blinds. So if you want to have your privacy, that's of course possible as well. In order to get the fresh air um, coming, even if the weather is not too good, you can also decide to have an air conditioning built in that's on the side of the cupboard here. So you can just decide on the perfect climate for you or your guests in this cabin. And as always, we have a lot of storage space as well. So right here, we have the big cupboard that gives us a lot of room to store everything that we need. I'm sitting in the bathroom now. This is directly accessible from the saloon and you can see also here we have a big hall window so there's a lot of natural light coming in here as well. Um, you might be missing the mirror that's behind the door um, so there is definitely a mirror and we of course have enough storage space behind me here as well so enough space to store all your toiletries whatever you need in the bathroom. And we have the sink right here with a nice view to the waves when we're in the water. And next to me here, you can see all the controls for the toilet. It's an electrical toilet. I'm uh, pretty much on it right now. Um, so there's still enough room around me. And we also have a pull out shower. This hides in the wall and you just pull it out whenever you need it. This is the owner's cabin. It has the biggest bed in the 33 foot class. So there's a lot of room all around me and it's definitely enough space for two people. The bed is in a V shape, but you can also opt for um, a closed mattress so that um, it goes completely up to the wall or to the door. As I said before, when we were in the saloon, you can decide to have this wall um, gone. So it is one big living space from the saloon uh, to the owner's cabin. So with the open bulkhead that gives you a lot of room 
um, to be more creative still to get um, all your things in order. We have a wardrobe on the side here and as well as in the saloon in here we have a lot of natural light. So we have the big skylights above me here. The middle one can be opened to get in a fresh breeze and as you can see here we also have an insect screen. So from one side we can put, on, uh, put down the insect screen if you want to be in here maybe during night time but still have the skylight open or from the other side there's a closed blind so if you want um, it nice and dark in here that's also possible. On both sides we have uh, more hull windows so a lot of natural light coming in from all different sides and again as in the saloon we have a really nice lighting concept. So we have the really bright um, spots in the ceiling but if you decide you want it a bit more comfortable a bit more romantic you can also just switch on the ambience lighting that is in the ceiling and just gives you this diffuse light which is really nice as well we have reading lights again so of course it's a really nice place to just relax with a good book and here you have everything you need there's a lot of room to the side where you can put your books your reading glasses whatever you need and um, we also have the option to include an air conditioning that you can see on the side here that can be controlled directly from the bed. So if the weather is not to your liking, you can still decide the perfect clim uh, climate down here in the owner's cabin. That was a tour of our new Sea line S330. I hope you enjoyed it and of course definitely enjoyed the possibility to see it right after it came out of our shipyard. That's always something special. And always remember, your own boat does not have to look like this. You can decide for another hull color, for other materials that are inside, other floorboards. So whatever you decide your boat looks like, that is what it will look like. Just talk to your um, dealer. There will be one in your area and they will be able to tell you exactly what's possible, what options you have, of course, as well with all the equipment that you have built into your boat. One of those beauties can be yours from around 190,000 euros. But of course, this is also up to you what exactly you want, what you need, and how this boat will be your dream boat. As you have seen, it's perfect for a small family or just a couple. It's great for cruising just for a day, get away from everything, just forget the stress of your everyday life and enjoy the sun. There's pretty much no better place than this one.